What's up? What's going on? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Let's get down to the situation, but please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, y'all. So let's get into this whole situation. Let's talk about SWV and Escape the Queens of R&B Season 1, Episode 1. It is going down like we start off with the situation where Candy says Carlos King was trying to steal her rights. Even though she abandoned the group for 20 years, she came back to make sure nobody else was eating off her plate, taking what she had. And anybody was, it, ain't, ain't nobody going to be tricking off a whore, point blank, period. She got all the tricks and the treats, you know, under her cabinet. And she wasn't going to let some outsider come in and take that. And also, we get down to the whole situation where, you know, they talk about Tasha and Tasha actually accusing you know Candy of sleeping with so so deaf everybody in so so deaf sleeping with Jermaine and also sleeping with Jermaine's father and if Candy never slept with so so deaf and the whole crew escape would have never broke up but we already know that there was something else that uh, Tasha basically was trying to get her own solo deal and she was using escape to do it and it's also being said that this alleged season with Tasha and escape Escape and SWV Tasha has been trying to get another lucrative, you know, solo deal. Mm -mm -mm. So now let's get all down into the T. And one other situation is like, what's going on, Tamika? Tamika, you telling me your sister stole that money from you like that? She stole the money from you like that? Like, Tiny, we gonna need you to speak up. Tiny, we gonna need you to get your mama. Like, what is going on? So, we have Tamika basically saying that there was a new royalty for the group. So, the royalty, like, they will receive money because they was a group member of Escape. And I guess it was $7,000, $8,000, $10,000. And the group members were receiving this money so i have no idea why tamika wasn't receiving her money why it didn't go to her address why it didn't go to her account why it didn't go to her why she didn't get an email but in any event when it comes to the situation tiny's mother had called tamika and asked her like are you getting your royalty blah 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 she said no i never heard of it so tiny's mother went back and did some investigation okay and she found out that Tasha and rocky was cashing tamika's group royalty checks without her permission basically fraud deceit and everything is that true because Tasha, if you steal from your sister like that with your husband that means that you is greedy grimy and no good that you could actually walk around here with your face looking high to the sky and talking about jesus if you throw if you stole us from your 30,000 from your sister like that is cold blood and then your mama is basically acting like it didn't happen so did Tasha and her husband Rocky and the mom was taking Tamika money losing just using her like she ain't nobody like treating her like oh she don't deserve her own her $30,000 her $77,000 $8,000 whatever it may be so we need to find out what's going on like for real like this is Fugazi. This is like, yo, for real, Tasha? Tasha, don't tell me that you are out here with your man stealing from your own sister. That's some trifling ash-ish. Mm-mm-mm. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that whole situation. I was like, Lord. And then we find out when it comes to Tamika, she is the one that brought, you know, Tasha around the girls because Candy and Tiny are originally her friends and she add her sister into the fray. So that's probably why it makes sense that Candy doesn't get along with Tasha. I don't know what's going on with Candy and Tasha. They don't get along. It's like they can't let bygones be bygones. But it seems like Candy has bent over backwards because she know you know starving the girls for 20 years was a long time i mean starving the sisters for 20 years is a long time because tiny married and had money and she was doing things and she was writing you know you know what i'm saying the sisters they was doing their thing but also you got tamika tasha said she couldn't steal no money from tamika because tamika ain't got no money she ain't she ain't got no money how could we steal money from tamika when she ain't got no money okay like what is going on that is real shady because that's what tasha said she said my sister ain't got no money for me to steal like this is food like so tasha so you saying your sister's straight out lying she's straight out lying she's been she's being fugazi she's making this up on tv child throw us 
some receipts, Tasha. Tasha, get out here and start swinging and banging because that's your reputation. Now, if you and your husband stealing money from your sister, that is very sour, sour. That's like, oh, girl, like you really in too deep. You really need to get some help. So if that's not true, then it looks like your sister really needs to get some help. And are you guys doing this for the cameras, baby? This is all crazy all the way together. So you guys let me know what you think about this situation. We do have Tasha. She basically did say that growing up and then being in a group that she was considered the fat girl. She was called the fat girl. And she didn't have a body like everybody else. So she's very overly sensitive when the girls say something. So when her sister said, if you had an A, I, I would kiss it if I can find it. Or if you had an A, I would kiss it if I can find it. That really hit her hard. Or basically she's playing victim because she knows she done stole money from this girl and she's trying to manipulate her sister to come back into the fold because right now it seems like Tamika is basically going with the girls like she's riding with Tiny and she's riding with Candy and that's what she's been showing us outside of filming with the girls and she's not gonna let anybody stop her back she's gonna do the very best that she can and it seems like she's putting it all out on the table okay so we got this whole situation and the girls are talking Tasha was feeling a certain type of way the other day she was upset because you know candy and tamika dressing room wasn't ready so they had to you know wait for it to be ready but tamika it was patient candy was patient tiny and tasha they had their own you know um trailers and everything of that nature so they had no qualms or nothing really faced them but you know time because they had to wait for the other two members and so um it's alleged that tasha just walked off and you know tamika feels a certain type of way like why didn't you come and check on me why didn't you find out what was going on or what was happening and you know you i i was inconvenient the most my trailer wasn't available yours was all you had to do was just wait around and you know they was going back and forth on text messages and um so she said something about kiss my booty and then you know tamika said what she said if i can find it i will kiss it and so therefore now tasha is basically saying that she has been body shamed and she's taking this to a whole different level and tamika saying girl why are you doing all that it's not body shaming it's a figuratively speaking if i can find it i would kiss it so um tamika just feel like her sister just doing too much and she's not folding and she's not following you know her sister's footsteps or or following her anymore it just seems like she done had it up to here too and she ain't backing down and tiny basically says you know she feels body body shamed and when it comes to candy candy just wants tamika to actually talk to her sister and get it on a pop and it's not a big deal we need to go on tour with escape this escape i mean this escape and swv a tour needs to go on and candy said that she don't really want to say too much she don't really want to speak too much because the last time she spoke you know about the sister's business they end up teaming up against her you know and candy said i tell you if i say something you go back and tell your sister and then y'all guys team up and get mad at me me all over again so candy's basically still still feel a certain type of way that tamika and um and uh her sister ganged up on her so she feels a certain type of way and she don't want to speak on it but she did call out the whole situation i was like lord mm, mm, mm. and then we move on to miss tiny tiny has some things to say too as well she just basically said i don't know what's going on with Tommy. you know we all had surgery and everybody has surgeries and maybe she feel a certain type of way because she don't she didn't have no surgery and, you know she don't got a body like that all of us got booty 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 body 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 you know what i mean they laid on the table for it and you know she basically feeling like you know Tasha feels like you know insecure because everybody else's body is popping and big and huge and they got you know the doctor the table body and um Tiny's basically saying so I think she's insecure about that situation but also um Tasha did mention that she feels a certain type of way because she was picked on and made fun of because of her weight and her size and now these girls and got the body done and everything child mm -mm. i guess rocky wasn't gonna let it get it done but you know we are here for the natural bodies there's not too many of them so our natural sisters we love you okay but tiny's making it clear like getting on a table is second nature okay so maybe she feels some type of way i think tiny's basically said maybe she couldn't afford surgery she wanted surgery i don't know <laughs> then they skip to this picture 
picture showing the booty bumping and, and the breast popping, everything popping out here in the situation. Candy just wants to get this mess all aboard. And she did call out Tamika, basically telling Tamika, you turned on me for a quick minute. Now we got to escape and we have SWV about to meet up and it ain't going to be all cool and dandy like it should be. And we got Tasha. She comes in there. She got a little chip on her shoulder already. And Candy says that Tasha don't like her. They don't talk to each other outside of the group. That She says basically Tasha just never really felt it for her. Tasha really never had it for her. So she accepted it. And Candy said, I don't like the ish either. Okay. So it is what it is. Tasha done came up in there, baby. And you can, and, and you can just feel the heat because she got something to say. And you got Tiny. Tiny's basically doing everything with kitty gloves to keep Tasha happy. And to keep Tasha feeling good and keep Tasha looking good. To keep Tasha comfortable. She's, you know, she's putting down everything. She's treating Tasha like she treat her kids. Like, girl, we're going to need you to act right. We're going to need to get this money because Tiny said, listen, my husband don't want me working. And I want to work because I got some talent. Let me get paid. I can make some money. There's money on the table. There's money everywhere. Let's get it. <laughs> and so... We got this whole situation where Tasha didn't really greet her. Such of what Tasha was already sitting down. And we got Tamika talking about girl. You know, the way that she greeted me. I wasn't I wasn't expecting the welcoming mat, but I wasn't I wasn't expecting to get slapped in the face like that. I was like, child, if you really wanted to talk to your sister, you could have bent down and hugged her, told her to get up, let's hug. But your sister's on one. I would be on one too if she stole thirty thousand dollars from me and gonna get an attitude. Baby, you better be kissing my feet. You better be licking my feet. You better be painting my toenails. You better be giving me body massages. You better be sending fruit baskets over. You better be sending me my cash over. You better be depositing in that Montag. You better be sending me everything I need if you done stole $30,000 from me and I ain't calling the police and I ain't calling the cops and you're going to turn around and have an attitude with me. I wish you would. You were bold and bodacious, baby. So this is why we need to find out the real tea. Did Horsha steal that $30,000? Because if she stole $30,000, $30,000 from her sister is incredibly trashy and if Tamika is lying about this whole situation girl you need help you need Jesus you need to go down there to the gospel lane like what's going on and so we have this whole situation. The ladies meet up. And, you know, Todd is feeling a certain type of way. She's feeling like something ain't right. And she's asking, you know, um, Tasha, how you doing? How you feeling, girl? And Tasha was like, you know, I really, I feel a certain type of way. Because, you know, Todd was like, Tasha, how, how do you feel? You look like something's bothering you. You look like you need to get some out. You look like something is wrong. And she said, yes, yeah, something is wrong. And, you know, I had reservations about being on tour with SWV and also Escape. We have some internal issues. We have some problems. We have some things to deal with. And I was like, Lord, Candy was like, girl, Candy's looking at, you know, um, Tasha like, girl, what are you talking about? Your sister called you out because you left early. You didn't support her. You didn't have her back. And that's it. So you upset because you got called out. And then I was just like, Lord, have mercy. It is going down. And Candy's feeling a certain type of way. It's like Candy done had it up to here. But Candy, you got to realize you dissed these girls for 26 something years okay and um so when it comes to it um swv especially coco coco was like we don't need to have communication i don't even communicate with the girls we know what to do when we get on stage so coco is basically saying you don't need all this communication because tasha said that she wants this communication with her sister because how could she do business with escape if we're not even speaking okay and coco was like girl this is just too much i need a drink get over it move on and you have you know lily lily's baking lily's basically saying like we have to grow up like we forgive our men we forgive our husbands but we can't forgive our sisters and it's like there's something about each and every one of us that we don't like that we accept and we put up with it but we need to leave that f ish behind and move on and get this money tiny saying she's tired of all you know all this whole situation going on she said everything is just so personal can we get to the bag can we get to the money i'm just tired and lily taj and, you know, Coco, they look good. Everybody looks good. Everybody on this show looks good. They all got it going on. Boom, bada, bing, they look good. Okay, they've been taking care of themselves. All right? Um, they're, not, they're not feeling this whole situation at all. 
And Taj is like, girl, do you really want to make it right? Do you really want to work it out? And um, to Tasha, and Tasha was like, yeah, I want to make it right. This is why I'm out here saying something. I was like, girl, you better, you better, you we need to find out if we really stole that $30,000. And so Taj is like, this is so crazy. I'm so glad we don't have these issues and these problems, especially in our 50s. I was like, yo. And then you have Tiny. She's trying everything to make it right with, you know, um, Miss Tasha trying to make her feel good, trying to say, like, let's put this behind. Tasha's not trying to hear it. She got some issues and she got some problems and she's not feeling it. And, you know, it, things have to be discussed because she's not really feeling like a tour. She's not really feeling like she need to do this. She's feeling like she need to do something else and you know SWV is looking at them like child this is a whole mess then we got Candy she's talking to Todd and she's telling Todd that hey listen back in the day when it came to Tamika Tamika was always writing for her sister kissing under her sister following her sister trying to keep her sister happy and now that she ain't doing that something going on okay so moving on from that situation now we get to this whole situation where we got the sisters they meet up at the crib and it goes ugly and it gets ugly like what is really going on so um the mother is basically checking you know tamika telling her you don't need to be blasting text messages you don't need to be saying this about your sister then you got tasha she's over there like yeah 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 you know she's over there like yes mama yes mama yes mama you doing what you're supposed to do mama and then you know tamika's feeling a certain type of way and so and then also um tasha was like oh let me hug your sister and so Tamika was like, you didn't want to hug me in front of the girls when we was just talking uh, a couple of days ago. And um, when it comes to Tasha, Tasha basically says, you my family. I can't help who family is. And Tamika took that as a shot. Like, oh, basically said, you have no other choice but to deal with me because I'm family. But if you had an option not to deal with me, you wouldn't deal with me because I ain't your cup of tea. But since you're my family, I got no other choice but to deal with you. Okay. And Tamika was like, that's a shot. And mama, why ain't you defending me? And mama said, I always defend you. I always have your back. I always do this. And she said, no, you don't. You know, you don't defend me when it comes to Tasha. And she said, mama, Tasha stole money from me and you ain't do nothing about it you didn't say nothing and right now you ain't saying nothing and basically tamika said girl tasha you don't you and your husband done stole money from me okay you done stole money from me and mama didn't do nothing about it child this is a whole mess and then mama out here saying that tamika is jealous of her sister because tamika was basically showing that when they was in vegas um tasha got up and she walked away when the trailers wasn't working and she was acting like she was Beyonce and she walked away she walked away you know with her crew but she didn't even check on her sister and mama said oh look at her she's so jealous and the mama don't believe anything Tamika is saying okay so y'all tell me what y'all think mm -mm -mm.